So today I'm going to be working on a sketch that I did about two weeks ago in my sketchbook. And I'm going to be discussing sketchbooks in general and how I do my illustrations. Before we get started, make sure you check out my comic, Mikey's Days Off, on my website, Mikey's Comics. Where I'm going to be posting that series and then there's another series called King's Quest coming out next year. Thank you so much and let's get started. I use my sketchbook for doodles. If I'm feeling like drawing in my sketchbook, I'll draw, and if I count drawing anything like a shape, a squibbly line, that's a drawing. So that, you know, just takes the pressure off. Um, but sometimes I go back to it and I look at my sketchbook and I say, okay, I got some really cool ideas here. Just like uh, there's a picture that I've had um, uh, my you know, character that I have, his name is King. He's a really cool character in my comic series. And I'm going to do a spinoff series next year with him. And I did this concept art, this concept sketch that I want to color and just ink. Um, and I want to show you guys how I do that. So let's take a look at that here. I find when it, when sketching or, or trying to come up with an illustration, it's, at least for me, it helps me to try to understand where the character's coming from. Like, say you're about to uh, draw a dragon. I'm actually, actually, I did a dragon, uh, take two. <laughs> I actually have a dragon illustration I want to show you. I'm just going to pull it up right here on the screen. And there it is. You see this? Now, this is wild. Like, now, this is something that I just, it's weird just to draw a dragon this way. Um, but I want to emphasize the character's when it comes to illustration, like this dragon here, he is like kind of an asshole. He looks like he's about to beat you up. But that's something that you can incorporate into your sketches to give them some kind of characterization. Because after working on my comic, my comic strip for the last two years, I noticed that my audience, they focus a lot more on the characters rather than the art. Uh, well, my art's kind of simple looking, but people really connect with characters. And I notice that when it comes to any type of stories, like all the best characters that I love when it comes to comics, the art style, it's, it's important. But if you want it to stay in people's mind, it's good to have a good characterization of, your, of the illustration. Uh, like this, dra like that dragon uh, illustration. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty low, uh, you know, detail, but it is striking. Um, and this is how I've, I'm going about with my art. I actually I do like to draw detailed work in my sketch sketches or in my drawing illustrations. But given the fact that I have a lot of things on, <laughs> I got a lot of stuff I got to do. I, I work. I I basically told myself I say, hey, okay. I, I'm going to draw every single day, but in order for me to get the most work done possible, I'm going to have to minimalize my art style. And this is what you see here. Like I do, like I know how to draw like very intricate designs, but when it comes to time, <laughs> that's, that's the issue here. So I think another uh, thing I would suggest, um, if you have, if you're still trying to find an art style and you want to like have a story try to think about what is the best art that's going to suit that story. I do see a lot of artists on webtoons where their art doesn't quite match the story that they're trying to tell. And it, and sometimes the art is so detailed that it takes like months for them to like to release just a couple of chapters. So that's one thing to think about. But I think they were done with this illustration here. Uh, I didn't really have much today, but I just wanted to upload a video and give you some advice and let you have some insight on how I actually view sketchbooks, how I view illustrations, and my emphasis on characters. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. I'm thinking about making a video every week, usually on the weekends, because I got a lot of stuff to do. But thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, check out my website, check out my comic, and have a great day. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, hasta luego.